My name is Zura Selim. I live in Mombasa. I work with Kamara Kenya as a sales and marketing manager. To date, Kamara Education has provided more than 10,000 computers for schools and other educational institutions in the country. So what makes Team Connect decide on creating an app for young parents? First of all, we felt that there was a massive gap in the market and we wanted to narrow it, narrow it down as much as possible so we could help as many people. If you see an homeless person in the street and you want to help them but you don't want to engage with them for whatever reason, um, you can go to the app. The street link can help people by getting them the services they need. In the UK, 5.4 million people suffer from asthma. I've used two Raspberry Pis, gas sensor and a dust sensor. This kit can make a real difference in asthma management. For those who are nearly blind, there's even glasses that could help them to see. They're called smart glasses to give sight to the visually impaired. She gave him a reason to get up every day and he had to go out. She's just there and she just wants to help all the time because that's what dogs do. How would we build a company to give money away? Well, we receive that sales commission and then we can use a bit of magic and convert that into a donation to the causes you choose. And so it builds this feedback loop. So while the money flows out to some of these, these retailers, actually some of it comes back. And the great thing is you choose where it goes. and physical computing where young people and their families can get a taster in a fully inclusive environment somewhere that's genuinely direct and autism friendly and you can just place it in your pocket and you just have fun with it these villages really need the help of Iwata Africa they need the help with the maintenance of their system so it's here to help them to collect their money and manage it for them there will be no more fighting at the top, and water will flow every day. For people with cerebral palsy, it's really crucial that they uh, participate together with other people, that they have friends and they can do something together. You can use it together with your friends, you know, it helps people joke. Uh, with each other, it helps sometimes create a sense of uh, community or um, uh, collaboration. Manage your ward more effectively, make better clinical decisions, improve the handover process, and ensure quicker discharge times. I've seen children with a place to learn that's safe and clean. Mothers whose children would die now able to imagine those children at the age of 10 and 15. Today really is about young people and their ideas and perhaps making a difference to their future. At Alcove, we're revolutionising the social care industry and pioneering independent living by keeping older and disabled adults living safely in their own homes for as long as possible. It improves quality of life, reduces social isolation and helps address aspirations as well as needs. Sex workers that are victims deserve our protection and our, and our effort as much as anybody else. And helpful thoughts are common. It's just sometimes quite useful to know what they are and then to see if we want to challenge them and think differently. If we had Wayfinder, that would be really revolutionary. That would change our lives, I think. We wouldn't need any assistance to get anywhere. Nikki, thank you for helping me find a way to tell my son I have cancer. No one should face cancer alone. Digital media is intrinsic in most of our lives. And to be shut out from that opportunity, to be digitally literate, it's almost stopping people from a right to an essential service. I've seen communities that started with nothing 
and now have access to water. This is such an exciting time for technology. We've seen how technology has transformed how we work, how we communicate, how we shop. It's taking people out, giving them a, a more enjoyable older age. What people should really think about when they see an homeless person is the struggle that you know that person's having on a day-to-day -day basis. We've all got feelings and um, homeless people are no different from anyone else.